Hello everyone and welcome to another tips and tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and today I want to present a simple tip that will actually do the trick of helping you when submitting a bill of material to a subcontractor or you know any other company that you have the, the need to submit a partial of your bill of material or a full bill of material uh, from Tecla PowerFab. Uh, now we have an option to do it. In the past you were able to submit the whole project. Now you can actually make a selection of only a few assemblies or a few quantities of, the, of an assembly in particular. Uh, so it's it's way more helpful. Uh, this is a feature that was improved a few months back and included in a service pack of the version 2023i, uh, but we made it official in the What's New uh, webinar of Tecla Power Fab 2024. We mentioned it there, so I thought I would come over and, and do a quick video just to show you how it actually works. Uh, so it's a, it's a quick example. If I go to production control and let me just go ahead and open this job. Uh, now, as you can see here in production control, this job, let me actually go to my sequences. I have three sequences in total and what I have here on my bill of material right now. Uh, my sequence one, if I take a look here on the, on the summary grid on the top, it is about 292 pounds of steel, uh, 292,000 pounds of steel. Uh, and then in sequence two, I have two, 203,000 pounds of steel and something similar in the sequence three. So now, I'm just showing this because I, I will assume that the most common scenario is to submit a whole sequence uh, to a subcontractor when you need some help in a project. Uh, but just have in mind, you can really take any, any separation. You know, even in some cases, and I'll just mention this as an, just to exemplify some of the uses uh, that I see some could be could be common for clients. Uh, like if I launch Trimble Connect here, uh, if you are not submitting a whole uh, sequence, but even just submitting a few assemblies or a few uh, quantities of certain assemblies, a region of your project, something like that, uh, that's possible as well, right? So you can always help yourself with the Trimble Connect project, maybe make a selection of the uh, area that you want uh, help with, like I can go ahead and select some items here, just randomly come back here to uh, Tickle Power Fab, select from the model. What I will do in any scenario like this is, once I have my selection here, uh, I'll probably go and uh, do a global edit for my selection and do like a designation of a category or, or a specific lot number, something that will create that separation for those items. So then I can easily filter that those assemblies out and you know submit them if I need to. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a simple process, right? If I go in and to the export function and you can see that in the past it was used the option to export a KISS. Uh, that, that function still works if you wanna uh, keep using keys files, uh, you can still do it and you can also filter. Uh, but I also want to emphasize that, you know, it's it's always a more complete file to, to, in, a, in a better option to use the PFXT. So uh, I'll show you that. If I go through that, you see the same filter screen show up. I can simply go here and, and do, for example, uh, my sequence two. That's what I will do. And then export this and I can, if I want, include the drawings. So it will include you know, just like the PFX2, PFXT file that comes from Tecla Structures. This one will include the drawing files and also CNC files. So it will be a full file uh, that will help your subcontractors in this case to, to actually fabricate what you need. So I can export this, save it in any specific folder that you want, but you can see it will be the PFXT file just like if you were submitting this from Tecla Structures. Uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, let me know if you need any help. Uh, please feel free to contact your help desk area and as always, thank you for watching.